How do you like the new FX hull being SMC fiberglass versus the previous Nano Excel hull? He says, I have a t I have a 21, but I was thinking of getting the more solid hull. In your opinion, what are the pros and cons? So Devin actually rode a 21 hull last year in P1. And, uh, okay. you know, now we've gone to the 23 hauls. Uh, I used the 22 hall last year and Devin was on okay. a 21 or we used all 23s this year. The biggest thing that I see in the improvement is I think uh, for racing uh, and for rough water, the new 22, 23 haul is actually better in the rougher stuff because it's a little bit heavier. Uh, it's a okay. little stronger, obviously, but it's a little heavier, which makes it go through the water better, stay hooked up better and drive better through the chop. So I personally think the new hauls are definitely the way to go. And, uh, you know, go to your dealer, man, and swap that thing out for a new one and you're going to uh, definitely going to uh, feel a difference and you're going to have so much more reliability issues, uh, reliability better uh, with the new hauls. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to soak up a lot of that vibration, Absolutely. a lot of the jolts. It, it, that as, There's a reason fiberglass is fiberglass and it's survived yeah. this long. And while lightweight and nano shaves, you know, weight, you know, less weight is more speed. And, and that's great. But I think going to the, going to the SMC hall is over the long term going to be less wear and tear on you and less wear and tear on the ski itself. And I, I don't think that, you know, the riders and uh, consumers have to worry about the, the speed either because the motors have so much horsepower and with the tunes and the modifications, ride plate intake grade sponsors that you can do to them nowadays, the skis oh, yeah. have enough power that you don't even know if it's an extra 10 or 15 pounds heavier. You, you, don't, you, you, there's so much power to make up for it. Right. Yeah. No, no, I don't think it's a power issue at all. Absolutely and not. Like, precisely what you said. You can literally reflash the ECU and you're like, okay, well I I'm at 76 right now, 78 yeah. without breathing hard. Yeah. So 78 that's not on really... our P1 boats, you know, they don't even notice the difference in the weight. Yeah. Well, there you go. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.